I'm John Goff from the Strongly Correlated Electron Group. Metals are usually treated in terms of uh, a gas of free electrons. Uh, when we turn on the interactions between electrons, we find the emergence of more exotic phases, such as with superconductors. So our fundamental studies include magnetic monopoles and the new iron-based superconductors. Some of our materials have important technological applications. For example, we study new strongly correlated thermoelectric materials. The Seebeck effect, that's used to convert waste heat into useful electrical power. So for example, thermoelectrics are included in the exhausts of cars, and they, they're, they're used to reduce the running costs of the car. The Peltier effect is used in solid state refrigerators. Crystals represent perfection in physics. We can see the beautiful symmetric arrays of atoms using our diffraction techniques. What we can do is we can create new model systems that enable us to test the laws of quantum mechanics to their limits. And by understanding these materials, we can create the next generation of technological devices. We can create materials with tailor-made physical properties. To start with the crystal growth, we used to prepare powders by using our box furnace. So once this process finished, next we will go for the preparing the feed rod by using our hydraulic press and then it's subject to crystal growth. This is our four lamp image furnace. So here we have the, the prepared sintered rod has been fixed in the upper part. And the seed rod has got to be fixed in the bottom part. So once this has been done, it has to be counter-rotated to enhance the homogeneity and it, it got heated by the elliptical mirrors. All of the rays focused at this point. This is the Ascron crystal bowl from which you can harvest single crystals of different size. X-ray diffraction can be used to find single grains, determine the crystal quality and also the crystal structure. The single crystal grown by Uday can be cleaved under the microscope to find a single grain. We mount the crystal in a diffractometer. You can see the crystal under magnification in the microscope. Here we can see the diffraction pattern from our crystal and from this we can work out the atomic structure. We subject our materials to extreme conditions such as high magnetic fields, low temperatures and high pressures. We take our crystals to international neutron and synchrotron x-ray facilities to study their electronic structure and excitations. Uh, here we have a pressure cell. As you can see, it's uh, reasonably small. However, we can produce very high pressures up to about 20 gigapascal. Uh, that corresponds to about 200,000 atmospheres. We apply pressure to the pressure cell using a hydraulic press behind me. So once high pressure has been established in the cell, we want to measure it in a refrigerator. For example, this adiabatic demagnetization refrigerator, which we measure down to millikelvin temperatures, uh, and use this to explore the quantum states. At Royal Holloway, our research spans from materials discovery and crystal growth through structure determination and physical property measurement, all the way through to theory.